Ephesians, this book outlays with such awesome crystal clarity the power that has been released into this body called the church. And it lets us know beyond a shadow of a doubt who we are and what it is that he has made us to become. You need to stop defining the body of Christ as the church. You need to stop pointing to buildings on the corner and saying that's the church. But you need to get an understanding that the church is God's present expression of himself here in the earth. Did you hear what I said? When you look in the mirror, I don't care if you got a hair out of place and your makeup messed up or I heard Minister Johnny talking about messing up one side of his mustache. (laughs) But I want you to know that stop looking in the mirror at yourself like you are yourself and know of a surety that you are God's present expression of Jesus Christ. Not the one that died on the cross, but the risen, ascended Lord. And he left an expression of himself back here in the earth to walk this earth realm and manifest his power, his might, and his glory. The job of the church is to be the instrument of God in the world. What happens with an instrument? Hit it. When the keys of the instrument gets entertained by the maestro, melodious music comes out. And you being the instrument of God, God wants to play you every day. Oh, did you hear what I say? God wants to play you every day. And if you will allow him to strike the melodious chord of unity that he has already placed on the inside of you, it will be such a harmonious move of the spirit of the living God here in the earth till things will begin falling in line exactly like God has planned. Listen, the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians, he said, listen, I want you to know some things. Verse 3, he said, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have picked you out to be the church. You all see that? (laughs) He said, he has already blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. He said, you need to get the realization that God chose you in Christ before the foundation of the world. And he had already ordained that you would be holy and without, without what? How many of you are still blaming yourselves? How many of you are still, if I had only known, I could have been so much further. God say, I've chosen you in Christ before the foundation of the world because it was my intention that you would be holy and without blame because I put something on the inside of each and every one of you, this awesome thing called love with which you are to operate. The Bible tells us very clearly that he has given unto us the capacity to go forward in power and in might as an instrument of God here in the world 
for the sole purpose of overthrowing the powers of the devil and restoring the earth realm to godly leadership and authority so that we can continue with the business of life. Do you know the business of life has been interrupted? Oh, you need to wake up and realize that the business of life was interrupted by the allowance of the devil into something over which he had no business to be involved in. He made his choice, which caused him to have a permanent block placed upon him with anything to do with living life any longer. But because we gave unto the devil our power, then the devil has been wreaking deathly havoc here in the earth and God has raised up the church for the sole purpose of taking back from the devil. And stop saying the devil took from us. He that had no power to do it. We willingly gave it over. And in our willing giving it over unto the devil. It is our fault that the world is in the trouble that it's in right today. But God says, listen, let me explain something to you. He said, I put within you, before you even stepped into flesh, the power to take it back. Oh, you are not listening to this. He said, I put within you already, before you came out of your mother's womb, the power to take it back. What are you doing with it? 